Hello everyone, welcome to Toti Talk. Within this podcast series we're going to talk about agriculture and mechanization. And today we're going to talk with Jean-Paul Hebrard, professional journalist from France, chief editor of Power Boost. Hello Jean-Paul, how are you doing today? Hello for you, very nice, thank you. Well, it's a pleasure having you here today. And first of all, tell us something about yourself, about your professional experience and about your media. My name is uh, Jean-Paul Ebra. I am the director of TV Agri and a journalist for the TV program named Power Boost. The weekly uh, issue has existed for more than 15 years. It's a broadcast on YouTube channel, but also on the TNT channels in France. It is uh, widely followed by farmers in France, but also in other French-speaking countries uh, via internet, of course. My job is to meet every week three or four farmers to fully understand how agriculture is changing and uh, explain this change to the farmer who follow our programs. Okay, Jean-Paul, thanks. And second question I would like to ask to you, actually based on your professional experience, how do you see the evolution of new technologies? And I'm talking about uh, uh, robot, autonomous driving, digitalization, and precision farming. I think that uh, agriculture has always been confronted by the need to mutate it. But uh, the new fact is that the frequency and number of mutations are increasing. Technologies are essential tools to meet such challenges. For example, here in France, the main difficulty for the farmers in the present as in the future is the difficulty of employing laborers. It is obvious that the arrival of autonomous tractors and robots is awaited. There are already uh, more than 100 robots at work in the field in France, but demand is very strong, particularly in the vegetable production sector. The technologies are available, reliable, proven, but the development of sales is slowed down by legal issues, which uh, uh, still force to the operators to stay close to the machine, and uh, the major company in the tractor market, which do not really push the innovation in the field uh, as a sale of because the sale of the traditional uh, tractors have been so important in the recent year, which even they have difficulty in uh, delivering the tractor order. All right, thank you, Jean-Paul, for this explanation from your point of view. And something else that I would like to ask you today is actually about a special project that you're following, actually a charity project. So could you tell us something more uh, about it? Yes, we created an association allowing the farmer to go even fever in the field of solidarity um, for the rest of the society. The name of this association is Les Agriculteurs ont du cœur, Farmers have Heart. This association brings together different farmers and people from the agriculture sector who decide to carry out operations to show all that the agriculture world counts as initiative that help people in difficulties. Our mission is to organize event during which always in a festive tone we highlight this action such for instance as a farm can welcome autistic children uh, or uh, a farmer would decide to carry out an action in his village in favor of the food aid in February 223, we organized a collect of more than 1,100 tons at the Salon International de l'Agriculture de Paris for Food Bank, and we are work working with AgroTV on an action to help people affected by the earthquake in Turkey. We also help agricultural equipment company to implement operation aimed at social responsibility. 
For example, Landini has launched a special series of tractors called Les Agriculteurs du Coeur, and they donated more than 5,000 euros to the association Les Blues Roses, Les Blues Roses, an association which helps hospitalize children. Farmers have heart. Is that correct? Is that yes. the title? Perfect. Yes. Sounds really great. It sounds really interesting. So, Jean-Paul, thanks for this wide explanation and your point of view from your professional perspective. We are now at the end of this episode. So thank you very much indeed to Jean-Paul Hebrard from France, chief editor of Power Boost. Toti Talk is a podcast powered by Tractor of the Year, the international award for agricultural tractors. Follow us on our social media and for more information about us, visit tractorofthear.org.